Well, thanks for taking some time to uh, uh, speak with us Thank here. Thank you, Mark. Uh, Delighted to meet with you again. Uh, a very quick update. Uh, obviously, uh, big news for you was uh, the acquisition by DuPont. Um, uh, and you're still there at the company. So, you know, uh, what's happening and uh, how are you getting integrated? Yeah. Well, first of all, it's a great outcome. A uh, great outcome for not only our investors, uh, our employees, uh, and DuPont too. It's, it's an all-round win-win situation. But more importantly, I think customers are applauding. It's a great, great synergy. And I think uh, this is a great uh, place for us to be in the industry. Uh, now, you know, obviously uh, a lot of people uh, would you would assume would welcome you know, a bigger company taking over a smaller company. Is that from a risk averse sense? It actually, you know, they feel that you know, they're in a comfort zone now because you were a startup in that sense. Certainly that's quite true. I think the fact that now there's a strong balance sheet behind an Ovalight, I think the fact that there's a sales channel that's worldwide, uh, sales, marketing, technical support, add to our limited resources, if you will, I think it gives great comfort to anybody selecting our technology. So we've built the framework, built the designs with our customers, but DuPont can take it to a new level. Now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I got the impression uh, with your, your product offering, there was a lot of sort of customization involved for each person. It's not like an off-the-shelf product because of different people's processing techniques and, and equipment use. Uh, is this another benefit that you know, you've, you're able to maybe fast track your R&D or fast track um, you know, the customization. Is that going to work? I well, it's not a complete customization, it wouldn't be fair to say no. that, but certainly each customer has a little nuance to their process, which I think we've dealt with quite effectively. The fact that we have a process line, like a mini factory, if you will, in our Sunnyvale site in Silicon Valley, allows us to very quickly replicate what's in our customer site, whether it's their wafers, the different wafers that they use, or some of the different tool processes. So I think um, while there are different nuances, we actually are trying to make it more streamlined uh, if you will, but uh, it's working and it's getting better and getting easier as time goes on. Well, obviously, uh, being here all week, you know, uh, metallization is uh, a huge topic. It's, it's a big concern. We've got the problems with uh, silver pricing, but we're also looking at the, you know, the significant advances for, uh, that uh, metallization has given for cell efficiencies. You know, approach 19% really with very standard, you know, uh, uh, products. You obviously have a different offering here in this arena. Um, uh, can we get an update from you on that? Where, yeah. where, where are you going well, actually, with, I think with our this? technology, the Inov DuPont and Ovalite, as we're referred to now, the technology is very complementary to the metallization technologies that, for example, DuPont uses in metallization, silver metallization in particular. They're actually complementary and they actually go well together. If you look at the product that we offer today, our customers, the silicon ink goes right underneath the silver paste and, uh, and it works extremely well. We've got a couple of other tricks in our toolbox which you're going to start to see things coming out over the, over the future that we're working very closely with now that we're part of DuPont, which will bring some very exciting innovations and very, more importantly, improve the economics of producing a solar cell for our customers, which ultimately is probably one of the biggest key themes out of this show this year. Uh, I mean, obviously, uh, cost reduction has been a, an issue uh, and it seems that uh, the you know, cell efficiency drive may be you know, it's being squashed a little bit. People aren't so worried about that now that we've got into those higher levels. Uh, is there pressure on you to, to cut costs, you know, or get, look, at, look at the material from a cost reduction pro? There always will be, of course. We're not naive to think that we can stay still, and we've continued to innovate. Even prior, prior to the merger, we were, all, we were already on a next generation of ink in terms of reducing the cost, and we're actually implementing that with now with our, some of our customers. So, of course, we're no different from anybody else. We have a very aggressive cost reduction roadmap for our materials, which ultimately will be passed on to our customers. And not only that, but innovating so that we bring the next generation of silicon inks. We've got some pretty exciting things that we're doing there that'll boost the efficiencies even further. So you should look out for some new interesting and exciting things coming out of there. All right, well, thank you very much. You're very welcome, Mark, thank you.